a good one. It's a better one. That's a better one, Johnny. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, he swallowed it too. That's, that's a better fish. That's not on heavy. Oh, no. That's a better fish, eh? There you go. Oh, there's no way I could get a hook into that. <sighs> that might have been close to what I, we needed, I, eh? I reckon that was... Um, first glance as it ate mm. it there, I went, that looks like a metre. Oh, well. <laughs> the only upside I can see to that is that I didn't lose it. <laughs> The Burdekin River is found near Townsville in Queensland and it's home to one of our largest estuarine fish, the Barramundi. These fish are iconic in Australian waters and I'm about to make the trip north to target one. My first stop is Brisbane Airport. Fishing can be a very frustrating game and I've lost some really big Barramundi in my time. None bigger than the one I lost to Townsville last year and it's given me nightmares ever since. So much so, today I'm going back to the very same spot to fix it. Although I have caught barramundi over a metre in freshwater dams in this country, I'm yet to catch a wild saltwater one of this size. And to help me, I'm joining forces with great mate and fishing guide John Campbell, who's kindly picking me up at Townsville Airport. How are we going? Good, how you doing? Balmy. Very nice, isn't it? I'm packed light. Let's yeah. get in and go. Let's do it. This adventure is more than trying to catch a metre fish. It's a journey I want to use to discover the science of this awesome fish and how technology has changed the way we fish for it. We're heading south of Townsville at the moment to Johnny's Fishing Lodge, which is near a place called Home Hill. And I'm hoping for me it's home to one metre barramundi. John runs a guiding business throughout this part of the coast, but his lodge is set up right on the shores of Graper Creek, which links into the Burdekin River system. As the day draws to a close, it's time to set up gear and prepare for our first day on the water. As the boat drops in the water, pumped with expectation, I can't help but think, could this be the day? It's going to have a quick look over on the sounder first. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, that's it. We're just going to have a bit of a look around here now and work out where they've gone and sat in the hole, and then we can just turn around and target them specifically then. So, oh. You want me to cast while you're looking? Yeah, have a couple of casts for a bit of prospecting. In Australian waters, the barramundi is an apex predator. It's a great hunter and survivor, and to show you how it operates, Johnny and I on this trip want to show you how to catch them from the top down to the bottom. Barramundi are a widespread fish and can be found in places like India, China, Japan, the Indo-Pacific Islands and Australia where they exist across the top of the continent, from Exmouth in the west to approximately Brisbane on the east coast. How much barramundi fishing changed in your life? Yeah, quite a bit, Nige. Like, with the advent of all the different lures out available these days, uh, your braided lines, not as much bait fishing as we used to do, less trolling, all the different lures. You can actually cast a lot more lures now. Your technology's made a huge difference. You know, if you throw all that in, it's like a whole new ball game. Johnny, here's a pop quiz question for you. Oh, yeah? What has bulletproof vests and the way we fish today got in common? I don't know, Nigel, what is it? Uh, you catch me a barrel Monday and I might tell you. Oh, OK. Come across a rock wall here and on the side image on the sand, and John's found a tree about 10 metres out from the bank. Plenty of fish sitting on top of it. Now it's going to work out what lure to use, see if we can get one of them to bite. You reckon it's just about there, John? Yeah, mate, just over there, just towards that tree on the bank. Barramundi can be a very temperamental fish to catch, and although we're seeing signs of them on the fish finder, they definitely weren't in the mood to open their mouths. John worked really hard through the morning to find us a fish, but they just weren't cooperating, and I was beginning to wonder if it's going to be another one of those trips. That's morning session pretty much over. Not a bite. It's not really good. Not what I had expected. Welcome to Barramundi fishing. It's good, isn't it? Ah, uh, fun times. Not really. It's tide turn coming soon, so if we go down there, maybe find them. See that top of the tide and that first little kick of the run out. Give them a nudge. One bite will make me feel a lot better. Me too. <laughs> 
Fish like barramundi are renowned for brief periods of feeding activity that are separated by longer spells of inactivity. They can be so frustratingly hard to catch when they don't want to feed. I don't envy a guide's job when the fishing is this tough. Such a barren, shallow river system and Johnny was telling me not long ago that the tide doesn't really move that far up the river and it reminds me of my uni days when I trained as a geomorphologist and the first thing you learn is that Australia is such an old continent and it's this type of old and harsh environment that the barramundi has evolved in and become so good at surviving in. Australia is the oldest continent and has been eroded flat over hundreds of millions of years. Our river systems are mature, characterised by meandering channels and often silted deltas where they meet the ocean. This affects tidal flow and the movements of fish that call our rivers home. Is this the spot? Uh, we should be here just at the right time, I reckon. Need a fish, Johnny? Need a fish, right now. It's a long way to come. Don't like being fishless this far into the trip. Quite a few fish marking up in there. Look at them all sitting up in oh. there. Yes. All the way along there, and it's a shallowish sort of ledge, so it's only two or three metres in there. That's us. Let's gotcha. do it. Just got to drop it in front of one. Agitate him with the vibration, and then drop it right in front of one. Oh, that was a rattle. Oh, I missed it. Oh. That was one. He was just about to get going. That was a barrel on the bottom. Ah. There you go. Bite makes you happier? Yeah. Doesn't yeah, it? Happier than the boat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Got him. That's a barrel money. Oh, yes. Yes. That's him, Johnny. Nice one. That's the one. That's a barrel money. Oh. Come on. Oh, oh and he's fine. Oh. No. That's a bit rude, mate, isn't it? A lot of work when you do that. Early starts, travel on planes. Lure's in the right spot. Welcome to a hardmouth fish that jumps. Sometimes they take a while to bite when they do. Keeping them on, it's not a ball game. So we've got a real issue around here that once you hook a good fish, it's not just the fish you're actually fighting. You've got to, you've got to get them in before the sharks get to them. And when they get to them, it's game over, it's time to move on. Here's an introduction to the tough mouths of the barramundi. The fish wasn't on for that long, and look how chafed that line is. So they've got all these abrasive systems in their mouth that allow them to not just suck prey in and concuss it, but hold onto it. And it can damage fishing line pretty easy. Imagine what it does. Poor old bait fish in the prawns. I'll keep fishing. This one on. Oh, little lure change. Everything eats a prawn. Just slowly dropping this prawn down the bottom. You know the fish are sitting there waiting for food. One of them sucked that in. This is killing me, Johnny. What's going on? Can I take you to where the fish are, mate? <laughs> it's up to you to do the rest. <laughs> Losing fish and missing bites can be so frustrating, particularly when you think that one of those bites could have been the big fish you've travelled here to catch. Look at the day, that ball. Got him that time. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, he's coming at us, he's coming at us. He's coming at us. This is why so many people get excited about barramundi fish. Isn't it? How good's that? What an impressive sports fish. Those big fins sticking up, big dorsal. Solid fish. He's a solid fish. Oh, and I lost him. You done well, you found the fish. Found the fish, getting bites. Just got some gumby up the front. Just wants to let him go. Oh, they stay on. Ah, oh, I see why now. It's left hand wind. <laughs> there you go, mate. 
I might have a five minute sin bin out the back, Johnny. <laughs> you keep fishing and I'll just think about what I'm doing wrong. I think I might just stay and watch you because you're getting bites and I'm not. <laughs> oh, it's a frustrating game sometimes. Oh. Fishing guide's job often involves managing temperament. And John thought I needed a break from my frustration. He figured that while I was so busy losing fish, we might as well take a break and try and catch ourselves some dinner. Let it go. Let it go. Just around the corner here is the mouth of the system, and between October and April, around the big lunar tides, and often coincidentally around a big flooding wet, all the sexually mature barramundi in the system are going to come down to the mouth here to spawn. Queenie? No, I don't think so. Harris? I don't think so, the way. Wait a bit. Jeez, that's quick. Oh. Fast fish. Super fast fish. I don't fish. think it's a monster. But... What do you reckon? Oh, I'm going to Look at that. that. Oh. What do you reckon? It's quick, man. Oh, don't go that way. It's going real oh. quick. <laughs> you right? Yeah. It's a barramundi. Nice fish, mate. I don't know. I'm going to do this, but... He's all right. I'm coming to you. All right. I'll just gently lean him your way. Don't do that. Big tail. <sighs> just whacked. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally. I needed a guide on board to help us land a fish. Good, net, just, good netting skills. Thanks for showing me how it's done. <laughs> well, sometimes guys got to get right, eh? Majestic fish. Look at that. Great work, Johnny. Thanks, mate. And look at this for a hunting fish. That big concave forehead and those eyes so close together and big powerful jaws. You look how much water. They're implosion feeders, Johnny. That's where oh, that yeah. buffing sound comes from that we love hearing at night. It's they suck in so much water at the same time as those powerful jaws just crunch fish. So it's concussive. And once it's in there with those very, very sharp ridges throughout their mouth nothing gets back out unless they want it to yep and johnny doesn't kill a lot of fish through the year but this sort of size is a good eating size what's your rule mate i think it's anything over about that 80 centimeter always goes back yeah mate anything over 80 goes back the likelihood of them being female and potential breeding fish it's just not worth keeping yeah, so. so it's a good point this is a this would be a male fish hermaphrodites they change sex when they get around that 80 centimeter size good work all right I reckon they're all... Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's one. Oh, I look, missed him. Stop falling off! Why? Are they falling off? Missing these fish in a hot bite is unforgivable because I know they're going to stop biting soon. Oh, that's one. one. That's one. That's one. There we go. That's where we're going. Finally, finally, could this be the one I put in the net? Here he comes. Oh, no, come on. Don't let there be sharks here. Staying low. This barra is staying low because it's trying to get back to structure. I've just got to stop it getting there. There it is. Oh, yes. He just woke up. He <laughs> <laughs> just woke up. You all right? Whew. Get him in the net. Get him, Johnny. Get him. Get him, Johnny. Yes. There we go. Aha. Finally. Well, it took me a while, mate. It did. You got a knife. Took me a while. That's all right, mate. I remember my first time barra fishing too. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at him. Another, another cracker. Oh. A splendid fish. Look how silver they are. Classic saltwater fish. When they're up in the fresh, a lot darker, dark tails, darker fish. Greener colour when they come down in the salt, they go silver, bullet silver, and yellow tails. A barramundi is a hermaphrodite, spends the younger years as males, and around that 80 centimetre size so starts to turn to females. So this one, very close to that junction where it starts turning from a male into a female. I told Johnny that if I caught a barramundi, I'd tell him the link between bulletproof vests and the way we fish today, and the secret 
this braided fishing line. A long time ago, Dutchmen found a very light but very strong fibre that when woven, they used to make bulletproof vests. And not long after that, someone else worked out that if you weave it, you can also make a fantastic low stretch, low diameter fishing line. And it lets us fish so many cool ways these days. So many lure techniques that we can use are made better by using this stuff. The invention of braided line has allowed us to change the way we fish. Thin, non-stretch and very strong fishing line lets us easily get lures to where fish wait for a feed, all the while making a lure look natural. This in turn lets us learn more about our fish and the ways in which they eat. That's oh. a good one. It's a better one. That's a better one, Johnny. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, he swallowed it too. That's, that's a better fish. That's not on heavy. Oh, no. That's a better fish, eh? There you go. Oh, there's no way I could get a hook into that. <sighs> that might have been close to what I, we needed, I, eh? I reckon that was, um... First glance as it ate mm. it there, I went, that looks like a metre. Oh, well. <laughs> the only upside I can see to that is that I didn't lose it. <laughs> oh! What'd you do? I was just doing that, d -d 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 like that and it just tackle. went whack. That was another good one too. Wow. <laughs> ba -ba fiddlesticks. Slight change of tactics afoot. The sound is starting to show that there's a bit of separation between the fish and the bottom. What we're going to do now is as tide drops has changed to using paddle tailed soft plastics that look like little fish that are fleeing. Cast it out, maybe fish the midwater a little bit more. See if we can get a result. Tell you what, man, there's some activity on this bank, dude. It's insane. It's... What are we up now, about eight? Yeah. So and right. two, I've lost three. Two to the boat. Bites. This tide's starting to run out of steam and there's a common law every single day that has, just as the tide picks up and just as it starts to drop off, these fish get hungry and there's bait fish getting chased everywhere. Matter of time now, we'll have a bite, I reckon, in the next five minutes. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes, Johnny. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one too. Yeah. It's a nice fish, chomping away. No monster. Chomping away. There's no monster, but he's a nice one. Yes, Johnny. Yes. <laughs> good work, brother. Thanks, mate. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, get off there. Hey, you right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Ooh. No, you've got him here, you're right. You won't want to go that way. No, he might be hiding from sharks too. Yeah. Oh, is that something under him? Oh, it could have been. I just saw a shape, eh? Hey? All right, well, let's get him in quick then. Yep. All right. <laughs> have a nice one. Oh, that's a cracker. Fat little bugger. Good, good colour choice. Yeah, isn't it? Johnny's been alternating through the lures. Had a few half-hearted taps and you went straight fossing through the tackle box. I said that's my... Second cast, I reckon. My... Yeah, it was too. Yeah. yeah, second cast. You did it right. Boom. Oh, there we go. Family belongs to the sea perches. Got a really big relative over in Africa called the Nile perch. And the barramundi gets its name from an Aboriginal dialect from Rockhampton. It means big scaled river fish. It means tough. They survive a lot of stuff. He's going to survive this one, Johnny, because he's going back. Let's get him back. Go, little fella. Every day on the water is a science lesson. Using sinking lures that very closely resemble a diet of barramundi lets us learn the situations in which they hunt, as well as giving valuable clues to the manner in which they feed. It's truly impressive how quickly and aggressively they attack prey when they choose to eat. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, the prawn. Jeez. Oh, it's backed off on him a little bit. Now yeah, we've got to be very worried about sharks at this point. Oh, airborne. Woo. How cool is that? Oh. Oh, it's just such a cool good thing fun, to catch. <laughs> coming over this side, he's coming over this side. Come on, come on, fella. I'm worried about sharks now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here he comes. Oh, 
Oh, nice fish too. This fight's going on for too long. The sharks. We've seen the sharks on the sounder. This could be trouble. Oh, oh yeah, he's there shark he on him now. There's a shark on him now. He's going to have to go for broke. I think he might already have he's him. There, 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 net him, net him, net him, net him. Where is he? I can't see him. Get quick, him. quick, quick, get him, get yeah, him. Can't see him. Get him. Oh, he's gone down again. Hey. I can't There's see him. There's a big shark on him then. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Oh. See the size of the boiler come after him. <laughs> That's about a fish, mate. Look you at can that. tell the moment a fish totally forgets that he's fighting you and just clears off and a massive boil appears behind him. There's something well and truly wants him for dinner. And I'm just going to drive us down there yeah. for the release, mate. We're going to do now is rather than release this fish here, this is a female. We want it to go back. We don't want to put it back and go straight into the mouths of a bull shark. So what we're going to do is go right up into the shallows, give it some protection. Johnny will let it go. This fish will hopefully go on to breed one day. There's no better demonstration of the implosion feeding abilities of these fish. And that's where you get that classic boof. That prawn is way back in this fish's mouth and all I got in a signal was a little tap through the rod. So in that brief moment, he sucked in a litre of water, and if that had been a normal prawn or fish, it was dead in an instant. Such, such impressive predators. Giving this fish a breather while John takes the boat inshore so we can release it. And it's had a very close encounter with the shark, but it shows you how tough they are. There's a couple of scars here, but that tough scaled exterior of these fish protects them from so much of this environment. And as long as this water's clean, you know they're so good at healing. So this fish, if we put it in the right spot, it's gonna go away heal beautifully and get bigger. So we've gone a couple of hundred metres away from where we caught it, mate, so you'll be right to let it go now if you want. Did she go? Yeah. Well done, mate. Good work. We're getting there. 89 Good that one went. 89? We'll get 11 centimetres to go. We're going back for another one. Come on. As the light began to fade on my first day here, I was fast becoming impressed with the average size and healthy condition of the Burdekin barramundi. These fish obviously thrive in the local conditions and it reinforces how important good quality water conditions and chemistry is to sustaining our aquatic species. This might be us, mate, and oh, we're not gonna get home. Yeah, it's getting a bit that time, isn't yeah, it? It is. It is the end of day one. Two objectives we haven't achieved. Haven't caught a fish on surface, haven't got to meet a fish. Maybe seen a couple, eh? All right. Good night's <laughs> sleep. See what tomorrow brings us going, mate. All right, let's do it. As the day drew to a close, I could only reflect on missed opportunities, something I needed to fix tomorrow. The upside is that our pots proved attractive to the local mud crabs, and we headed home with a tasty feed for dinner and a chance to make plans for an early start the next day. fishing is that a new day heralds a host of fresh opportunities and a chance to make up for yesterday's shortcomings. The plan was to head to the mouth of the system today and see if we could find some bigger fish holding around submerged trees. Travelling to the mouth showcased the variety of wildlife that coexist in this environment and you can't help but think about the consequences should we mismanage one of the local apex predators, the barramundi. Good one. Maybe hit that um, electric motor and let us just roll out of here. Where is it? Is it on top there, just hit the amp. Yep. 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 Nice one. Phew. Good work, Johnny. Bit of weight to it. Yep, this could be it. This could be it. I'm gonna chase it, eh? Yeah, just go after him a bit. Sort of slowly, looking like, oh, get away from that tree. Has he found a tree? He, no, he's arcing back around, but. Which way? I'm gonna just follow him, all yep, right? Yep, just follow him, perfect. Where do you want me to go? You're all right, just follow him around. Yep, lock him out there. Yep, yep, yep. I'm locked here. Yep, perfect. I'm locked. That should get us away from that tree a bit. As a jump, mate, this could be a big one. Yep. So one of the keys when you're lure fishing is to try and make the lure look as natural as possible. Make it look as though it's a wounded bait fish down there, like it's the weak one of the pack that they you really want that fish to eat. And that's what we've done here. This could be the one. A bit of weight there, eh? This is a bit of weight here, Johnny. Yep. I really want to see this. I really want to see this. 
Hey, hey, he's arcing under. Hey, hey, he's just you're right. Under. Yep. Oh, he's going under, he's going under, he's going under. Gonna get a look in a second. Oh, oh he's a, a nice one. It's a good fish. It's a good one, John. I don't know if he's that mark that we're after, but still a nice fish. Oh, he's a boilie left. That's a good call. There's a guide's call. Stop in the mouth of the river, just on the way up. Bunch of trees, fish on the sounder. This could be it. Pretty important here. We've got a pretty nice fish on here. That's a big fish. So it's very important we don't go too hard on her. I'll just. Oh, he's getting at this. Just, just, yep. yeah. There you go. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, he's close. I don't know if he's it, though. Oh, I reckon he is. I'm, pi I'm calling I'm, on I'm, I'm picking 98. I'm not, I'm not a barrow guide, so I'm calling the barrow guide wrong here. <laughs> oh. oh, that's going to go close. I reckon he's... I reckon we might have it. Okay, let's quickly get this on the measure. Right. It's a big fish, big female. And we're going to put it back. We're going to see what it goes first. Yeah, 94 okay. centimetres, mate. 94. That's a nice oh. one. Not quite the meter we were after. It looked huge in the water. Didn't it? And that is such a proud big fish. Hasn't hasn't eaten out of hunger, eaten out of aggression, just sideswiped the lure. Yep. And that's the way they work. Territorial. They hate things coming into their space. And sometimes they're down for mate. Let's get it back in the water. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get another one. Awesome. The girth of John's fish had fooled us into thinking she was a meter fish. The good news is we had now found a spot holding some larger specimens. So while we move back to this spot, something Johnny said about making it look natural in the water. You want the barrow to think he's eating part of a food chain. And these days with technology, so many things in our favour. We've got lures that look exactly like what these barramundi are eating. And fishing lines, how much have they changed? Braided lines, low diameter, no stretch, colourful so you can see what the lure's doing, you can see when you get a bite. No reason we shouldn't be able to catch barramundi easier these days. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, got him, got him. He's going, he's going, he's going. All right, I've just knocked us out of gear. Yeah, so he's we... still down deep there. There's a tree right yep, down there. I'm just going to reverse us out a bit, mate. Whew. Adrenaline, a little change, a little colour change, first cast. Whew. Got the adrenaline going. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on. We've got to try and get some angle on him, man. Hey. Try and get a bit of angle go. on him. You, uh, yep. That's all right, he's staying up at the moment. I'm just, I've just gone really gentle on him. Yep. Try and stop him panicking. Yep. You're right. <sighs> Ooh, this is a nice fish. Could this be the one? It might. Ooh, get off there. It's going to slowly reverse back off here. Yeah. Create a bit of angle. Oh, don't tell me. Is he in a tree? No, I don't think so. No, he's still going. I'm trying not to think about this being 20 years in the making. <laughs> I don't know how many days, Johnny. 50 yeah. to 100. Yep. Just chasing wild. So he's swimming away now. One metre barramundi. Could this be it? Just don't know. He hasn't come up, so all I'm going is on the weight of this fish. To get that, just fishing, he's coming right at me now. Okay, he's coming, coming on the boat. Coming on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to turn us around. Yeah, she's starting to wake up now. Okay, she's coming back under the boat. Okay, I'm just going to hook the nose around to the left. Oh, there, there, it is, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's a big fish, man. It's a big fish. Yep, I'm calling it. It's a nice fish. It's gonna go close, man. You're right. Just it's gonna go close. Better do a thing. I'm just gonna back her off. I'm backing this drag off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe back her off a fraction, not too much. You wanna keep that there bit of tension Here it is, here it is. Big flash. Let me know when you're ready, mate. Big flash, here it is. No. Oh. Sorry. Woo! <laughs> what do you reckon? She's a nice I'm, one. I'm oh. I don't think it's a metery. Yeah, it's that. I'm scared to call it, actually. Yeah. When you invest so many hours chasing a goal, a fishing goal, and you think you're close, you can't help but be a little bit nervous. You know what, Johnny? It's that stuff that keeps me awake at night, thinking about fishing trips, and thinking about the adventure that comes with chasing a big fish. Yep. Come on, stay on. All we're going to do is photograph you and let you go. Oh, come on, fish. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on. You're all right, mate. Nice and steady. They're so well tuned for this environment, Johnny. Very much so. So many years they've been evolving with these systems, and they are survivors. Yeah, you you're this, right. is it. this is it. it. This is it. This is it. Oh no! It's no, not. Not. Right. no, it's not. No, it's not. Come on, it is a good fish, man. Come on, come on, come on, Johnny, get it in. Yes! 
Yes! Whoa. Yes! She's bigger than the other one, eh? Yes, Johnny. <sighs> it's a nice one. That's a... All right, I'll, I'll just swing her in. That's You're a right? cracker, yeah, mate. Just there, mate. straight in here, Johnny. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. I'm scared to get the measure out right now. Uh. This could be... This could be two decades of chasing this fish, Johnny. Look again. Look where she's hooked. Yeah, just... just she's just swiping just at it, swiped eh? it, Just aggression. It shows you can, you can target fish for hunger when they want to eat something, and you can also target them just for their other instinct, which is aggression. They, they're predators, they're territorial. If you can make them react to a lure, you can still win the battle. 96. Close. Going the right direction. We're going the right direction. <laughs> this is why I keep coming back to do it, Johnny, because I've, I've hooked the big ones and lost them. I've come close a few times, yep. and every time you think this is it, and if you lose it or you come close, you just think, oh, I'm going back to do it again. Got to do it again. Let's get it back in the water. Here you go, matey. Off you go. And... Oh. There's a reason they're apex predators in our Aussie waters. Oh, and I love catching them. Getting the chance to play with large barramundi will always get the adrenaline going. I think about those two solid fish swimming back around their timber structure now, and it's hard to fathom that they can grow to two metres long and a massive 50 to 60 kilograms. This is the birthplace of our barramundi, and it's part of the mouth of the Burdekin River system. If our post-larval barramundi fingerlings survive the first stages of life, when they get to about three centimetres, they start the really treacherous journey way upstream. They try to get as far up right into the fresh. If they make it, they'll live there for around three to four years and hopefully survive to adulthood. Barramundi will live in the freshwater billabongs and reaches until they are sexually matured around three to five years or around that 60 centimetre size. At this stage, they are all males. Upon reaching sexual maturity, they head back down to the mouth of a river to spawn. Males will spawn for three to four years before turning into females. However, this only happens in saltwater environments. Barramundi face several threats these days. Weirs and man-made blocks have restricted fish movements through much of their original distribution. Desnagging and removal of riparian forests have removed much precious habitat. Today, unseasonal weather systems prove a threat. For example, late wet season flooding means large numbers of barramundi move to the mouth to spawn outside of closed fishing season and are suddenly at the mercy of commercial nets and recreational fishers. Oh, is that one? Yeah, that's one there, yep. Yeah, okay. There's a tree just there. Yep. And there's a couple up there. Oh. That's already, yeah. it's already, cool. it's already happening. We just had a quick move. Last spot didn't produce. It's what happens, but we're in a new spot now, and this is where it could all happen. Pull Lecky. Right, oh, Johnny. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, mate, get into it. The sound is telling us there's a bunch of fish stacked in here at the moment, and the tide's running through bringing food to them. All Johnny and I are doing is trying to emulate part of the food chain. We've got sinking bait fish looking lures, we've got prawns, little paddle tailed soft plastics, and the key, they're all sinking lures. Get it down there as it hits the bottom. Just make it look injured and just slowly bounce it along where those fish are hiding and hopefully get one to suck it in as it goes past. Why are you getting anxious, John? Getting anxious because it's getting to that right part of the tide. Starting to see a little bit of movement now with some bait getting eaten. So, yeah, it's nervous times. It's when the good, good stuff happens. Yeah. Oh, yes. He ate that right there. Right there. Oh, I missed him. Oh. Woo. Pretty close to where that last one That'll get you going. That last bite came. I wound that prawn there. up to pull it out of the water, and he's come up and belted it. Scared the living <laughs> daylights out of me. Probably a bit better fish too, that 85. Yeah, no. Oof. That woke me up. I was looking for the next car spot, and as I was about to pull it out, I went, oh, <laughs> got stopped. Oh, I'm awake now. Awake now? I'm awake now. What time is it? Tell you what, he wanted the prawn. Oh, yes. Oh, and that was it. Lynn's stinging, though. I know where they are. 
That was it, Johnny. There's, yeah, that was some a good, good ones there. Let's see if that's, that was a good bite. Let's see if that's what turns them on. Oh, it's got the adrenaline going then. <laughs> that was like a rush of adrenaline. Yes. Coming towards you. Yes. That's a good one. Trouble, 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 that's a good trouble. One. Trouble going for the tree. Not a barra. You reckon you've hooked a bully? Yeah, I don't know. Running out of string fast. That's some serious weight, isn't it? There it is, it's not happy. If we can just get a look at it, just yeah, to know. I just want to see what it is. Going about as heavy as I can go. A six kilo rod. Oh. Whew. It's a meteor here, I reckon. I don't think these rods are designed for this. Oh. oh, that broke the leader, did it? Yeah. So that was it right there. Oh. We had a close encounter with a very big bull shark. That's wasted a lot of valuable paramundi time. Oh. I'm worn out, Johnny. Yeah, it was. Got rolled, I reckon. Little bite. That was off the tree. That wasn't actually on it, was it? Yeah, it was out on that ledge. Just to show you, that's a sucky motion of a fish. They can quickly roll a lure and spit it out, especially when they're tentatively biting like they are today. I hope they change their mood. It's getting really frustrating. Time is now fast running out, and the pressure is well and truly on to put that elusive metre fish into the boat. Yep, there's one. Yes. What did you call it? Oh, a good nice one too. Good barra. Are, are you burning that when you ate it? No, no, just doing the normal. Just on the bottom? Yep. Good work, Johnny. Started. The bite has started. Oh, he's got that way down his gob too. It's in there. Right. that drag there. a little bit. There. Yes. Good work. Just drop that leader. Good work. That pressure back a little bit on it. Yep. It's that process of sinking lures and just hopping them down these ledges, such a good way to catch fish that are sitting, waiting for an easy feed. It's so important to stay contacted and just feel when your lure's hitting the bottom, just to see that coloured braids these days make it easy because the line slackens off and the moment it does, you've got to hop it up and keep tight because that bite is so important to feel. Yeah, nice fish, what do you reckon? Oh. Yeah. I reckon about 80 ish. 80, low 80 somewhere. Okay. We'll see when we get it in. <laughs> You're right, I'm just gonna... Oh. Oh. I think I'll lead him in there now, mate. Yes, and in the net. <laughs> it's nice when they jump straight in. <sighs> yes. Nice. Oh, they... Look how proud they stand. He's just going, okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's it. The reason Johnny has won that battle is as the fish jumped, he watched it really closely. The fish had the lure down deep, and he then got very, very gentle in the terms of fighting it because that mouth is so abrasive. If you go really hard on a fish, you find they start rubbing through your leaders. All right, this one is going back. And off you go. Good work, Johnny. Good work, Johnny. It's at this stage of the trip that I ponder what could have been, knowing that my time is all but up. Sun's about to set. Hopefully we're in for a torrid little evening barabite. It could be our last chance to catch a fish near to the surface of the water and hopefully to meet a fish. In that drain, mate? Yeah, mate, just up in there. Straight up in there. Barramundi have got amazing eyesight and they're very good nocturnal feeders and they love eating mullet. But in the hours of darkness, that's the reason I'm putting on that lure. Swims close to the top, looks like a wounded mullet. And hopefully our local barramundi pick up on its vibrations and come along and eat that. I've had enough, Johnny. What do you reckon? Enough. Yeah, mate, I reckon with this cold weather, I don't know if we're gonna have a surface bite tonight. No, that's me. It's been two days of casting. 
Thank you, my friend. Not a your problem. wisdom and your fish finding abilities have been awesome. <laughs> The metre mark has still evaded me, as it has for 20 odd years, and that's the beauty of this game. Sure is. Gives me a good reason to come back, though. Mate, sounds like a good plan mm -hmm. to me. Let's go to the lodge. Sounds like My a arms are hanging like off. A better plan. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Barramundi will always be one of our iconic sport fish. With the highs and lows that come with chasing this creature, there is so much to love about them. <laughs> for so many years, it's been a passion of mine to spend time on the water learning about their modes of behaviour, where they live, how they hunt, and what important predatory roles they hold in our tropical waters. I once heard that if Barramundi bit down on your fist the way they eat prey, they would come close to breaking bones. So impressive is the way they concuss food. This is a fish that has evolved to survive the tough Australian environment and will attack almost anything that swims into its domain. A big, bullet silver fish that dances across the surface when threatened. Now that's a fish I could spend a lifetime chasing.